what's good, Grey Gang? We're out here being out here, okay? And that's about it. Now, it is actually Christmas today, which basically what that means is that today is a pretty good day, if you know what I mean. But something pretty awesome happened this morning. I went hunting, and oh, man, let me, just, let me just tell you about it, okay? So, you know, this morning I headed out. I was really pumped. I just wanted to kill something. I was going to kill, you know, basically anything that moved. But let me tell you what happened, okay? And let me just say one thing. There's really nothing like some good clickbait on Christmas morning. I found this deer head. But, I mean, yeah, guys the thumbnail the title my instagram story and my snapchat story for today well i mean yeah they were they were like 100 percent clickbait but still i did go out rabbit hunting this morning and you know i got a little you know i went over in the bushes a little bit just stumbled upon this thing anyways Here's how it all went down. Well, guys, we are out here, you know, we're rabbit hunting, but, you know, I just got bored, okay? I walked over here in the weeds a little bit. I looked down, and I'm like, bro, there's a deer head. And this is a pretty good one, too. This is a good eight-pointer right here. This ain't no little eight-pointer, either. This is a good eight-pointer. But, you know, I mean, the whole body's right here. You can tell it's been dead for a while just because... Well, there's nothing left here except just the bones. And I'll be completely honest, people. In a way, I sort of think this deer died back whenever it was in velvet. Because if you look right here, it's like still got some of that fur velvet on its horns. And I mean, even up here in some more spots. See, like right there. And even up here, it's still got like it's velvet on here. So this deer, honestly, I think it's been dead for quite a while. This right here may have even been like, you know, one of the blue tongue deer. But nevertheless, I mean, I, we've not killed a rabbit yet. But I am taking this home just because, well... It's pretty cool. But I mean, for real, guys, look at this. That is a very good rack right there. There's my hand inside of it. That's a good deer. And like I said back at, you know, where I found it, I believe this deer was a blue tongue deer and actually died back in the summer while he's still in velvet. Because if you look real closely right there, you can see velvet on the antlers. Now, if we can just kill a deer like this with my bow, that, you know, is actually a living deer, then we'll be in the business, okay? Unfortunately, that's just not happened yet. Mmm. Smells like six-month-old deer brain. But, I mean, yeah, I was basically clickbaiting y'all in to maybe and maybe thought I killed a nice buck, which you should have known. That's pretty, you know, almost impossible. Deer hunting this year has not really gone my way at all. But still, well, like I did say, I did go rabbit hunting this morning, and basically, here's how the rest of the hunt went. Yep, that's about it. Nothing happened. Now, we did go out and spend five hours and come home with not even a rabbit leg. However, it was well worth it because, you know, we went out there. We had fun. I done a little bit of scouting in an area I would never deer hunt. But most importantly, I got clickbait. And that's basically all the YouTuber wants for Christmas anyhow. Okay, guys, so my scene just changed very rapidly. I went from a Christmas Day jokester to full stalking mode. So what am I stalking, you may ask? I'm stalking fish. And here's my fishing pole. Now, before I get up to the pond, let me explain the situation, okay? So, you know, look, here's this pond, okay? I've been driving around, every, you know, for like the last week, just, you know, being bored and everything on the trap and shack on wheels. So I've been driving around and looking over. And I'll just see these big tank of bass. Like, I'm talking... Every bit of two, three, and, a, and even a five pounder right over there I saw him a minute ago. But for some odd reason, in the middle of December, these big old bass are just coming up in the very top of the water column and just sitting there. It's sort of like they're sunning, but like, there's no sun today. It's completely cloudy. But I mean, hey, I don't care about the sun. I'm trying to catch those bass. Now my plan is to go up to them, try to, you know, see them, and uh, throw this weightless presentation right here. I've just got this little bitty weird shad thing. I got it in Mystery Tackle Box like a few months ago, actually. And my plan is to just go super finesse, super subtle, just toss it in right in front of them, maybe twitch it a few times, and see if, you know, he'll just take the easy meal. Now, hey, I'll be the first to tell you, I've not caught a fish in over a month and a half. But that ain't gonna stock me. I'm just hoping that maybe I'll get a little bit of Christmas Day luck. Because, you know, hey, I'm gonna need it today. Okay, guys, I'm moving up to the... Oh, my. There he is. He's right there, guys. That's the big one, too. That's the really big one. Just gonna throw it in there, twitch it a few times, and see if we can't get a little reaction strike. I'm using the smallest tackle I own, this little spinning reel, just because we have to go super finesse. We have to use light line, because I don't have any room for mistakes. I want these fish to be as comfortable as possible whenever they bite, because you know, even though they are at the top of the water column, it's still December, and it's still really cold, and their metabolism, well, they're really not hungry today. They're just here, and I'm trying to take advantage of them a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's a really good cast. Now it's just up to him and if he did, wants to bite it or not. Oh my gosh. He's going towards it. He's going towards it. He's going towards it. He's going towards it. You're kidding me. If we can get this, this will be insane. Oh, oh, I caught him. 
You're kidding me, people. I just caught a fish on Christmas Day. Christmas Day bass fishing. Christmas stinking day bass fishing. That is a monster, people. That is a monster. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just stalked a stinking four pound bass. I just stalked this sucker like a mule deer. Like for real. What in the world is this? This fish is freezing cold too. He's like every bit of zero degrees. <laughs> Boys, that is what you call execution, baby. There's some things in life that you just won't understand. This this is one of those things I do not understand. But I mean, hey boys, the best part about that is that that was like my first stinking cast. And there was more of them right over here. And this isn't even the one I, I thought I saw. Like this one actually came out of that big brush pile. The big one that I saw that was like at least four pounds, she was right over there on the bank. But I believe whenever I threw in, she, um, uh, well, you know, she got out of there pretty quick. But anyways, here you go, Mr. Bass. See you later, but thanks for biting, most definitely. And now, it is time for a really deep discussion. After catching that bass on my first cast, I would like to say one thing. Boy, why have you not bitten my baits all summer long? Like, I'm not kidding, guys, and you know this. I've fished at this pond, like, all summer, just trying to catch a fish. Then, why do I come out here on Christmas Day, throw one cast, and catch him immediately? But like I just said a second ago, some things are not meant to be understood, and I am most definitely sure that that is one of the things that are not supposed to be understood. But I will be honest, I do think that the stalking and, you know, leaving the trap and shack on wheels back there, I really do think that helped, because if, they, if they'd if felt the big vibrations or the motor running, I don't think I could've caught that bass. That's not the only bass I've saw cruising. Most definitely over there on that bank and over there in the corner, I've saw a lot more of them. They're not exactly as big as that, but still, bro, Throw a fish. Let's go get them. Let's go. There he is. That's a good one, too. That is actually a really good one. This, okay, it's not a giant, but I believe this guy might actually be a spotted bass. Yeah, he actually is. I just caught like a spotted bass, guys, in a Kentucky pond, which is, you know, not exactly normal, but he did fight really good. But anyways, here he is. Perfect hook set right there in the top of the mouth. He's not nearly as big, but I will say without any doubt in my mind, he honestly fought harder than that big one. Just a little Kentucky bass, spotted bass right there. Hey, that's pretty good for December, ain't he? Thing's good for December. Sheba, what are you doing? What are you doing on Christmas? And that reminds me, my dogs need a Christmas present too. Stay patient, Sheba. Let me see what I can find. Let's look around and see if we can find them a Christmas present. Okay, right here. Screaming hot dough and estrus. An ice cold Pepsi. A brand new pair of Kobe's to chew on. A broken fishing pole. A hot water heater. A not so new pair of Crocs to chew on. Hey boys, that's a winner right there. That is a winner. They're getting Crocs. I don't know about you, but I mean, I think they'll love them. Here you go, Peanut. There's one for you, and here's one for you, Lucky. Merry Christmas! And then there's Sheba. We can't forget about Sheba. There you go. Good doggy. Okay, guys, we're actually, you know, back in the basement. We've got a few, oh, these are heavy ones too, but we got a few, you know, Christmas presents that didn't exactly arrive on time for the last mail time. However, it is Christmas Day, and how better way to spend it than opening gifts from the gray game themselves. But anyways, let's crack open this first one from Chris Kelly. And then we're actually going to crack them open with the same knife that we got from last mail time. But anyways, let's get started. Oh, wow. What is this? I mean, I really don't know what it is. I mean, it's got puppies on it. So, I don't know if that's like, it's like a puppy in a box. Or maybe that's just a wrapping paper. I, that, that may be true. That very well may just be the wrapping paper. Okay, I have now confirmed that is 100% just the wrapping paper. This is not puppies in a box. Even though I do think that'd be a pretty awesome business to start. So, what do we got in here? What in the... Bruh! I think it's a golf ball. I believe it is. And here's a card... And it's got a bait pack for the bait wall. I'll put it right there. Hey, it's actually 12 golf balls. Bruh. Okay, guys, I'd like to say one thing. Do not 
judge a book by its cover, or in this case, a package by its box, okay? It said golf balls. This is not golf balls. We actually got a good pair of hefty pliers right here and some gloves, which I'll be honest, I've never golfed in my life, so I'd rather have these than 12 golf balls anyway. But I mean, hey, that's what you call a true surprise right there. I went from one, thinking I got a puppy, to two, thinking I got some golf balls, and then three, I figure out that I get a pair of gloves and some needle nose pliers just in case I get a golf ball stuck in me. I can pull it out. So, yeah, man. On to the next one. This next one is really heavy. It is from Austin Thomas. Let's see what we got here. And it rattles, which is always a good sign. Alrighty, boys. No way. Yeah. Okay, so you know, flashback. Back whenever it was still rifle season, and I said that I was using those hand warmers because I'm way too cheap to buy them myself. Flashback right about. Okay, guys, I have yet to see a deer, but I do have these hot hands right here provided by no other than you, the Grey Game. Like for real guys if you guys didn't send these in i wouldn't be using them because i'm way too cheap to buy these things well yeah remember that day Boom! He sent me hand warmers. Not just one, people, but I'm talking a bunch of them. And as you may or may not know, January and February is by far the coldest months of Kentucky, and these will 100% be being used. But also in this Ziploc bag, he sent me this pocket knife right here. There we go. And it's actually a Gerber, which is really awesome. Oh man, it's full. But anyways, next up, we got these right here. These are just some shimmy sticks. Basically a Cinco, except Strike King, so. And then over here, we got some little lizards right here. These are in smoke and blue. And that is a really awesome color by far. But next, we got, yet again, we actually got some Christmas presents for the dogs, for the hounds. We got some cute little milk bones. And now we're getting in here to the big stuff, son. We got tackle box. Boxes full of goodies in here. Let's just ditch the tripod for a minute. I'm just gonna bring you over here and show you what's up. Okay, right here. We have a Smithwick Rogue right there. That's a little suspending jerk bait. Looks like here maybe a live target. No, it's actually a rebel, but still. Then we have this live target frog. Probably more maybe yum dingers or something like that. A big spinner bait, some soft plastics right here. This big bag right here of just, you know, sinkers. And then this bat, this this little uh, you know, <laughs> bullet sinkers. But as so right now we're gonna close that up and we're gonna dive right on in here to the second box he sent which actually is like straight up full of stuff right here here we got like little drop shot worms right there we'll definitely catch some stuff on those we got more worms here's like some maybe zoom centipedes i think they're called but those are really nice baits wacky rig them do whatever you want with them and then right down here we got some beads for carolina rigging basically anything you can use beads for beads are really useful but anyways guys before i leave y'all alone i just want to give you a real quick history lesson on this day in history like a really long time ago jesus was born that is a fact but anyways like i was saying with the deer head i, I sort of teased y'all with snapchat and instagram here's my snapchat it's kindle gray six and here's my instagram at kindle gray one and on kindle gray one there's actually a picture i just posted of that bass and you know hey go like that for me let's get it to Three million likes! Can we please get a hundred trillion likes on this video? Let's get three million likes on this video! Why? Because... Because that's, that's a lot, and likes are good. Three million likes, people. Smack the like button and give me a Christmas present through your like. And if you're not subscribed, do that too. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right, and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, Favorite Squad, post it up, down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.